just commencing. The price of admission is 25 cents a quarter, one fourth of a dollar. Now, don't go home and have to tell your friends and neighbors that you haven't seen the great, the famous ten in one show. Featuring the famous Carmen G. Dancing Girls. How many, brother? Where's Slim Phillips? Slim Phillips is on the inside. Uh. Folks, the show is just com- Just a minute here, brother. Just a minute. If you're going to go on the inside, you'll have to have a ticket, Bob. Don't bump me, Bob, you young whippersnapper. You tell him it's Gabby Whitaker from California. Gabby, you old son of a gun. Slim, you old rattlesnake. Oh, go on, Gabby, you haven't changed a bit. Dan Tootin, I ain't, and I'm just as full of fight as ever. What are you doing back here? Business. You remember Sue, don't you? Hello, Miss Phillips. Not little Susie Farnham. <laughs> well, yes. you're all grown up. <laughs> Say, I was terribly sorry to hear about your father. What happened to the circus after he passed away? Well, it's in winter quarters now at the ranch. That's one of the reasons we're here, Slim. We need your help. Some place we can go and talk? Of course, right inside. You'll see also Barack and Moment, an exotic review participated in by real Moroccan women. That's enough for nothing now, folks. Don't be back. We'll step up and get your tickets right now. Of course I remember your father borrowing money from Ripley. But I also remember him paying it back. Well, we can't find no proof it was paid. Unless we do, Sue ain't got no circus, no ranch, no nothing. What's the matter, Unc? Oh, hello. Uh, my niece, Patty. This is Gabby Whitaker. I do, ma'am. Hello. And Sue Farnham. Hello, Patty. It's nice knowing you. Same here. Sue's father and I used to be partners. It's too bad you didn't stay partners. We wouldn't be in this fix. Say, you've got an idea. Pee Wee, how'd you like to go to California? California? You mean you might go back with us? Huh? Well, if I'm on the right track, we might have a surprise in store for this Mr. Ripley. This show closes here Saturday night anyway. Oh, I'll California. Movie stars, cowboys, palm trees. Miss Sue Farnham. Yes. Telegram, miss. Thank you. Ripley says he'll meet us at the station. Big hearted, ain't he? I've been thinking, Gabby. Maybe you better not tell Ripley why I'm here. I won't. Come to think of it, you didn't even tell me. How are you figuring on outsmarting that polecat, Slim? Well, I don't want to get Sue's hopes up until I'm sure, but I think we ought to be able to find that receipt somewhere. You know how Tom Farnham was about business. Probably didn't even have the payment recorded. Well, Sue and me's look everywhere. Cancel, check. Paper. Ain't nothing like that around the place. I've just got a hunch that we'll find it in the safety deposit box that Tom and I had in the Cabrilla Bank. Hey, that's one place it might be. Can you still get in it? I think so. It was in both our names. Well, we can't get to the bank today. It'll be closed time we get in. Next stop, Cabrilla. Ripley. You can't even see it all from here. anyone was on the road. Why didn't you stop traffic? 
Those riders might have killed someone. Ah, get themselves killed, masquerading as bandits. I had a notion to reach my 45 like I did the Daddy, time... Daddy, you must tell him about it sometime. Don't think I won't. <laughs> well, you'll pardon me. We'll take it again, boys. That was pretty close. Is everybody all right? Oh, yes. We're just fine, thank you. Say, you're, you're not Roy Rogers. That's right, ma'am. Oh, gee, I think you're wonderful, Mr. Rogers. I see all your pictures. Gee, the way you got in there and grabbed those horses. Oh, Well, I'm my glad gosh. nobody's hurt. <laughs> you know, you never can tell about accidents. Sometimes the shock sets in later. Now, if there's anything I can do, I'd thank be... Thank you, Mr. Rogers. We need you. I'll let you know. Shall we go? Take it up, Roy. They want to take it again. What do you think of that? I never even got her name. You never... Oh, come on, or we'll never finish. Gabby, I wonder who put the tent up? I don't know. Well, uh... Oh, thanks for the lift, Bill. It's always a pleasure. You going to be with us long, Mr. Phillips? Well, I can't say as yet. Well, anyway, I'll see you before you go. You probably will. Well, I'll be seeing you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Alongside the creek. Ah, them phony movie cowboys. Even muscling in on us here. Yeah, but they're finishing up today. That's why we're rehearsing. We've got to get the last scene in the picture. Oh, Gabby, I suppose it's all right. Oh, uh, this is Mr. Phillips and his niece, Patty. All right. All right, Patty. We better go in and clean up. We'll see you later. Come on over and watch Zach. Why do that? Bye. 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 What a gang. They all work for you? No, they're part of the family. 
Dad sort of adopted the kids one by one. Orphans? Every one of them. Their folks were all in show business with Dad. Do you remember Joey Long, the clown? And that little freckle-faced kid is his boy. The one on the end is Tommy Lewis. His folks did the high wire act, remember? Why, of course. I remember them. Say, you two have responsibilities. Yes, but they're a wonderful responsibility. Them little fellas run the place, like a boy's ranch. Any homeless kid's welcome. We figure they just ain't a bad American boy. That's right. All right, in a little bit. That's good. Now move that other reflector over. Hey, Lou, get it hotter on the doorway. Where'd that playback guy go? We're ready. Okay. Places, please, everybody. Well, this is a surprise. Hello, Mr. Rogers. Hello, Miss... Uh... That's Sue Farnham, and I'm Patty Phillips. Gee, we're glad you met us. I mean, we're glad to meet you. We just came out here to watch. I hope you don't mind. We're tickled to death. Glad to have you. Now, Miss Farnham, if you... Come on, Roy. Uh, oh, hiya. Hello. Uh, uh, Mr. McDonald's yelling... Take it easy, Bob. We're having a barbecue tonight, and it sure would be swell if you could come over. Oh, sure. We'll be glad to, won't we, Sue? Well, that's fine. We'll be expecting you. All right, roll it. Action. One of your men said you were interested in some ranch property in this neighborhood. Well, I've always wanted a ranch. I thought while I was up here, I'd kind of look around. Well, I'm going to put this place on the market in a couple of weeks. Oh, is this your place? 
Well, practically, I'm going to take it over. Oh, now, now, Roy, what do you want with the ranch? You, 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 you know I'm allergic to horses, and besides, you've got a nice place already. Well, in case you're interested. Well, thanks. I'll think it over. Excuse me. Say, what does he mean about selling this place anyway? Gosh, I hope it ain't true. Oh, Miss Barnum, you're not leaving, are you? I should say not. Roy, will you come? You know, I love that scene. You were wonderful, just wonderful. You were wonderful, too. Oh, I will... I mean, I was. Uh-huh. The way you galloped in there, oh, it was oh, just... Oh, shucks, that was nothing. In the first part of the picture, I have some swell scenes. The first, I come right... See, I, now I come right down... Tell her about it, Bob. I, well, I will. Yes, I will. In the first part of the picture, I come riding into town, see? Mm -hmm. Now, the, uh, the heavy, that, that's the villain in the picture, has stolen the Borix words away from the girl. Now, the girl... Hey, Rogers, where are you going? The villain stole the Borix works. Oh, that's wonderful. And then what happened? Oh, uh, it's up to me to get the Borix works back to the girls. Uh, couldn't we... Couldn't we go out and sit in the swing? I'm just dying to hear what happened next. Why, sure. That is, um... I guess so. Now, uh, where were we? Well, you were just about to get the work. I'm just about to get the works. I... I'm just about to get the works. So... <laughs> you still got them pictures? Yes, sir, right in my bag. I'll go and get them. Why, I've even got one of you, Gabby, without a hair on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boy. Say, Gabby, that Ripley fellow don't own this place, does he? Oh, of course not. Why do you say that? Well, he was telling Roy Rogers that he was going to own it pretty soon. He was trying to sell it to him. Oh, he was, eh? Well, kids, if that side went... Hello. Oh. Look here, young fella. Don't go try selling something you don't own, and you ain't never going to own this here property. I wouldn't be too sure of that, old-timer. Looks like he means business. He's up to something, all right. You mean he's going to take the place away from us, Gabby? Oh, what are you talking about? Scat now, go on. Get out of here, the whole kit and caboodle of you. <laughs>
My little dog is tagging right along at my heels. He's so happy that he's hopping like a toad. And Trigger, he's a prancing cause he knows how I feel as I go singing down the road. The sun is grand, my face is tan, and I'm so carefree and gay. And as I hike, I feel just like a school kid for a day. And when my day is over, there's a girl I'm to meet. You see, but that's another episode. My heart and I are stacking up a dream's kind of neat. As I go singing, singing down the road. What happened, Charlie? Got Mr. Phillips. What's the matter? Who were they, Charlie? Well, I didn't get a good look at him, but I was coming around the corner just as they were dragging him out of the house. I ran after him, but they started shooting. Come on, boys. Somebody Jimmy this one. Same here. Let's get the horses. Car! Car party! Get the car! We'll never catch them now. We might if they get them before they reach the highway. Would anyone want to kidnap my uncle? I don't know, Patty. Well, thanks for trying anyway, boys. That's a serious charge, Sue. Bill Ripley ain't exactly the kidnapping type. I didn't say he did it, Sheriff, but he's the only one who had a motive. Well, if it'll make you feel any better, I'll have a talk with him. Thank you, sir. Shug, you sure they didn't get Gabby? Well, when Charlie saw him, they only had Mr. Phillips. If I only had Gabby here to talk to... Strawberry jam. Yeah. Strawberry jam? Well, don't stand there like a bunch of idiots. Get me a handful of crackers. <laughs> I'll eat them critters if it's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> me, Gabby Whitaker, known as the killer of the Klondike, the rootinest, tootinest, shootinest wildcat of the West. Me, tied up by a. Who are they? Who? How do I know who? They snuck up behind me when I wasn't looking. They ain't no two men alive. They ain't no five men alive could hog tie Gabby Whitaker. Unless he was knocked unconscious when they done it. I remember the time I was holding a fort blown. There was 50 wild Indians around me. There I was, both guns blazing. I looked around... Look... Oh... <laughs> Better snap it up, Roy. Crew's waiting for us. I was just thinking about last night, Bob. There's something funny about those men making off with Phillips. I wonder why they took him. Who knows? Whatever it was, it's none of our business. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Hello, young fellas. Come on in. Hello. Hi, Roy. Uh, hello, Jimmy. What can we do for you gentlemen? Oh, nothing. We just heard you were leaving and dropped over to say goodbye. Oh, gee, that's mighty nice of you. Well, bye, Roy. Oh, bye. Bye. So long, Eddie. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, Tommy. So long, fellas. <laughs> Is there anything else we can do for you? Well, uh, uh it, yes. 
We was wondering if you'd sing that song about Texas before you go. You mean now? Yes, sir, right now. All right. Get me a guitar, Bob. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, around Texas, way around Texas. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, so they can't steal my baby away. She's the lovingest baby around Texas, around Texas, around Texas. And the fellas all know it in Texas, that's the reason I worry each day. Hello, hello, that's that lumber pile up high. Gonna build it to the sky. Big job to do, I know. But she's mighty sweet and so. Gonna build a big fence around Texas. Around Texas, way around Texas. Gonna build a big fence around Texas. So they can't steal my baby away. Somebody really is trying to take a ranch away from her? The ranch and the circus and everything. Roy, will you please? You boys run on back to the ranch. Bob and I will come up later. I don't know what we can do for you, but we'll sure try anyway. You mean you'll help? You mean you try to do something? Sure. Oh, gee, oh, hell, Roy, Roy, I'll thanks a million. See you later, Bye, Roy. Bye, Bye. Bye. Now look what you've done. We've got to be heroes. What can we lose? I kind of like it. Yes, I could tell the way you looked at her. Oh, come on, Roy. Let's go home. You know I'm allergic to horses. You'll pull through all right. We better tell the gang not to wait for us. Oh, my 
story, Sue. But we've been over every foot of the desert within ten miles of here, and there isn't a trace of him. Sure beats me how he got swallowed up like that. Well, thank you anyway, Roy. I guess there just isn't much anyone can do. Mr. Raggies, I owe you an apology. Kids told me what you've done, and now I know you ain't just a hero on the screen. You fellas will have me. I'd, I'd kind of like to shine up. Well, thanks, Gabby. We'd be glad to have you. You know, I'm a rootin', tootin', shootin' cowhand. And my trigger finger's just itching to get even with them varmints. Careful, Scotty. You'll tear that canvas. Ah, uh, what's the difference? We won't own it after this week. Is it as bad as that? I'm afraid it is, Roy. Sue, I wish you'd let me... Thank you, Roy. We'll pull through somehow. If these was the good old days, we could heist the big top up anywhere and make money enough to pay off that skunk Ripley. Why don't you? <laughs> These aren't the good old days. Then we had more than just a tent and a few props. We had a show to go with it. Big names, big acts. Say, could you have this tent up in Cabrilla by tomorrow night? What do you mean? I mean, could you be ready to put on a show if you had a show and someone to attract customers? Well, I don't... Gabby, what do you think? You're darn tootin' we could. We'll hold everything. Hello, operator? Could you get me the Republic Studios in North Hollywood, please? Studio. Republic? Yes, oh, hello, Roy. Fine, thank you. Yes, they're all here except John Wayne. Yes, Don Barry's here. He's on stage 10. I, I can't ring there now. Oh, sure. Hold on and I'll send a messenger. All right, Don, let's try a rehearsal and uh, start it from that line. There's nothing more I can say. You want me to get a little saco? Yeah, a little more tempo, please. Okay. All right, I think we can shoot it now. Can I talk to Mr. Berry, please? What, at a time like this? And Mr. Berry, Roy Rogers is on the phone. He's calling long distance. Roy Rogers? Don! Be right with you, Eddie. Hello, on that long distance call, Don Berry is ready. Hello? Yeah, how are you, Roy? Sure, what's up? Well, I got a couple more scenes, and then I'm going to leave on my vacation. Uh-huh. Sure, I'd be glad to. All right, I'll get there as quick as I can. Hold it, Ferguson. Cut! Okay, boys, right over here. Oh, Sunset. Telephone. It's Roy. Roy Rogers? Yeah, right over here. I think that he would... Uh... Yes? Is Alan Lane there? It's for you, Alan. Thanks. Yes? Oh, hello, Roy. No, I don't start for a couple of weeks. Sure. I'll be right up. Republic Studio, front gate. Oh, hello, Roy. Uh, Bob Livingston just left. He said he was on his way to his ranch. Yes, Roy, I'll see if I can catch him. Oh, well, George. See if you can catch Bob Livingston. He's on his way home. Frank. George, what's the matter? I got a message for you, Bob. The office says it's important. Good. What's up? Read it. I guess the boys need some help. You're right. Say, Annie, uh, get me Bill Elliott's ranch, will you? That's fine. Now spin the rope. Spin it. Big spin. Big spin. Wow. Big spin. Come on. Big spin. That's fine. Excuse me, Thunder. I'll answer the phone. Hello? Hello, Bill. Say, do you suppose you could get up here right away? Oh, fine. 
Get in touch with the casting office and have them send up some circus acts and a lot of equipment. I'll put Thunder in the trailer and leave right away. Come on, Thunder. We've got to help Roy. what to do. Keep your chin up, honey. Highway patrol's been looking to and not a sign of them. No news of Phillips. Uh, that polecat Ripley's got him corralled summers. If I had my way, I wouldn't monkey with no law. I'd stick my 45 in his ribs and let him have it. We got trouble enough around here without this happening. Well, we've got the show ready, I guess. You think we can get any customers on this short notice? Pray to do it. Well, we can through dragging them bandwagons through town and telling about all them western stars we got coming. Why, we'll sell twice as many tickets we got seats. Hey, Shook, hurry up with that paint. Coming, Gabby. I wish you'd get busy and do a little work around this place. Oh, I can't do any work and pour Oscar on my mind. You ain't had a bite in two days. Keep your mind off that overgrown canary. And get out the painters and get them posters. Then I want you to start plastering up all over town. All right, but my heart ain't in it. city ordinance that prohibits circus parades? Yeah, I believe there is, now that you mention it. I'm pretty sure there is. Circus parades are prohibited. Sheriff, don't you realize we've got to have a parade? And if we do decide to parade, who's going to stop us? I'm afraid you'll all be arrested if you try it, Mr. Rogers. I'm sorry, but I don't make the laws. Say, what's going on here? <laughs> we got an idea. When the circus came to town, all the clowns were tumbling down. The tigers roared, the lions looked bored, and the man in the back yelled, Peanut, lemonade, popcorn, and cracker jack, the pies are eaten in every pack. Oh, the monkey got away, grabbed the man by his toupee. The old folks smiled, the kids went wild, and the man in the back yelled, Lemonade, popcorn, and Cracker Jack, the prize in each and every pack. 
The acrobats gave us a fright. You closed your eyes and held me tight. Someone laughed, we turned to see. The crowd was laughing at you and me, but we didn't even care. When they all began to stare, we hugged and squeezed the elephant squeezed and the man in the back yelled, Peanut, lemonade, popcorn, and cracker jack surprised in each and every time. When the circus came to town. Hold it, Rogers. What's the matter, Sheriff? You're all under arrest, Rogers. I told you there were no circus parades allowed in this town. Oh, but this isn't a circus parade. Then what do you call it? This here's a funeral procession. You're trying to be funny. Funeral procession? Who's dead? Poor Oscar. Back there in the bandwagon. I suppose you've got a burial certificate. Yes, sir. Signed and sealed by the doctor. Everything's in order. A duck. So you see, Sheriff, this isn't a circus parade after all. The only reason we were playing this kind of music is because, well, Oscar loved it so well. It was the poor critter's dying wish. He says to me just before he laid down, Gabby says, says he, no sad, sorrowful music when I'm gone. I want folks to be happy and gay-like. Them was his very words, Tom. Shall, shall we go ahead with the burial ceremony? outside and keep watch? Nobody will be around. They're all up at the circus grounds. It's going to be a sweet job trying to find a receipt in here. Never mind that. Check the trunk. I'll go through the desk. Gabby, the car looks familiar. Kind of looks like the one them fellas use when they snatch Phillips. Say, Gabby, how did you see it? You told me you were knocked out and hogtied. Who, me? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Somebody's coming. Hello. Hello there. We were just looking for you. How'd you know we was here? Went up to circus grounds and they told us that, uh... I see. Hey, Rogers, wondered if you're still interested in the place. Heard you're going to leave in a couple of days and thought we'd better drop down... S oh, this is Mr. Maxwell. Howdy. Hi. Hello there. As a matter of fact, Mr. Ripley, I have been thinking about this ranch. If you've got a couple of minutes, I'd like to talk to you about it. All the time in the world. Well, we're going in the house and pick up a couple of things. We'll be back in a minute. Right ahead. Roy, what are you talking about? You're not thinking of Bob. I've got a hunch they're up to something. When they leave here, there's a sense to talk about it. And you're going to listen in to what they have to say. How am I going to do that? Get into the back of the car and ride with them. <laughs> Roy, you've been seeing too many movies. Now listen, Bob, I thought you wanted to help. Well, sure I want to help. Okay. I'll get him away from the car. Gab, you give him a hand. The boys are getting their things together. Now, Mr. Ripley, what kind of a deal are you prepared to offer? Well, I hadn't exactly set a price. I'd like to show you around. Well, let's go. Come on. Let me go, silly old Bob. I'm more safe, I tell you. No, no. 
Roy wouldn't like it. And besides, this is a job for a young man. Well, I'm younger than I look. I got all the fire of flaming youth. Sorry, Gabby. I'm going to have to refuse you. You can't refuse me. Me, Gabby Whitaker, that stopped a herd of stampeding cattle all by myself. There were thousands of them coming right at me. In front of them was a wild bull. What do you suppose had done? What did you do, Gabby? I just stood there calm like and throwed the bull. You th- I got it. Look, look. I, 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 I'll choose you. Fair and square. Now, then. the one that gets the straw stays here. Look, Roy told me that I had to do it, and I'm going... I'm going to give you the best of it. I'm going to give you the first choice. Go ahead. Go on. Man gets the straw stays. I didn't realize it was so late. I'm afraid we're going to have to make it another time. Suppose I get in touch with you in the morning. That'll be fine. All right. Well, see you in the morning, then. Thanks for coming over. I'm back then. in the back tied up. How long we got to keep this guy here? Till I find the paper I'm looking for. If this Phillips knows where it is, maybe we can make him talk. That's just what I don't want you to do. If he finds out why he was snatched, it'll tie me in with it. I've got to be kept out of this thing, understand? Sure, we understand, but what are you going to do with him after you find what you're looking for? I don't know yet, but all you got to worry about is keeping him here. I'll let you know later. That's the way you want it. Back into that car, you didn't hear a thing? Well, I could hear the motor roaring. I can still hear that dad blame thing. And you haven't any idea where they took you? Let him alone, Bob. You had no business letting him go in the first place. I asked you to go. I know, Roy, but, well, we drew straws for it, fair and square. Hey, there was one place where there must have been a 20-foot drop. That's where I got this bump on my noggin. I'll bet that was the old dry wash. Yes, sir, that's the way they went. Well, let's go and see if we can pick up their tray. I ought to be able to do it. I can remember it ever. Oh, oh. Bump. Well, here are their tracks. 
That's all right. It looks like the track's paid out here. Say, Gabby, do you remember if the car went straight ahead after you came through the wash, or did it make a turn? Oh, I couldn't say. I bounce around too darn much. I see now. I do remember a few minutes later, we must have passed close to a skunk. And I mean close. See? You eat That ought to be an easy scent to pick up. Yeah, well, let's fan out and see what we can find. snooping around that circus tent, too. Phillips was talking to the girl, and from what I could make out, that receipt you're looking for is in the vault over at the bank. That means they'll be at the bank the first thing in the morning. Unless we, uh... Say, you herding cowboy, hop on your pony, sing and Riding now, boy, we'll make San and Tony sing and pull. Heelie-ay, heelie-o, long weary days and the dusty roads to travel. But we'll make the boss pay for all this battle driving cattle. Light-hearted, carefree, trail herding cowboys sing and pull. Heelie-ay, heelie-o, keep moving doggies, time is a-wasting sing and pull. Heelie-ay, heelie-o. 
I'm not impatient, but why don't you hate and sing and hold? Helio, helio, you ought to know that a certain someone's waiting. You ought to know that you captivate and confiscate and arms will enfold this trail herding cowboy sing and hold. Helio, helio, one little doggy strayed from his mother sing and hold. Helio, helio. The place is packed, and we're still selling tickets. I don't know where we're going to put them all. Well, gee, that's swell. You don't know what this means to me. Maybe after the excitement's all over, I can, well, think of some way to tell you how grateful I am. It's nice to be here, Sue. Well, I'm glad Roy asked me. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. They just blown the bank vault. There were about six of them. They shot one of the sheriff's men and took off cross country. Well, gang, if we were making a picture right here, it's for somebody to holler X. Let's well, go! Right. Right. Gabby, you get the show started and we'll be back as soon as we can. How do you know we'll be back? Come on, Gabby. It's time to start the show. They can't leave me behind. Get somebody else to start the show. I'll bring them back single-handed. Oh. <laughs>
got you covered. I've been looking for. Come on, get up there on the horse. Get going. Looks like everybody got their man. Well, here they are, Sheriff. Well, I'll be doggone. Say, Roy, this is just like one of your movies. Yeah, Roy, but your pictures always finish with music. Holy mackerel, the show. Come on, boys.